Hey guys, Titano here. This is one of my Christmas gifts I got this year, and it's the Lego Star Wars Personas Cheetah Speeder Chase from uh, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. And it comes with Ray, BB-8, First Order Tread Speeder Driver, and First Order Jet Trooper. And back, top, that side. There's only like two good sides on the Lego set. But uh, yeah, let's just unbox this real quick because I already cut it with scissors. So let's see what's inside. Seems to be everything inside. We've got instructions, which are wow, Lego. That, that's pretty good. Uh, got the sticker sheet, which seems to be pretty good. And we've got bag one, bag two, and bag three. So, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go build this and I'll see you later. Okay, so here's the set all finished. This is quite a while later, but here are the extra pieces. I had them in a bag because I was traveling when I did this set. So, pour all those out. So the extra pieces that you get are all of these pieces. Just that, so you can see them all. Those are all the extra pieces you get, so yeah. Let's out of the way real quick. Anyway, here is the actual set. So now I will show you the minifigures. First one is of course Ray, and I won't give any spoilers to the new movie in. Um, this. So you've got Ray right here, and I don't actually have a Ray, so this is my first Ray minifigure. Got a blue lightsaber, and I'm not sure if this is an exclusive Ray to this set, but there's the back face, front face, cool hair piece, and yeah, there's Ray. Next, I have BB-8. Just a, oh, where BB-8 go? Just a normal, generic BB-8. Two pieces, I already have one of him, and the BB-8 keychain I got for Christmas, so. Basically three of him now, but it's always nice to have another BB-8. Next, we have the Tread Speeder people. So you've got the Tread Speeder driver, which at first I thought was just a normal Stormtrooper, but yeah, angry clone face on there. And yeah, he's just got a little marking right there. And you've got First Order Jet Trooper, which has this cool print on the back. Don't have that jetpack piece. Pretty cool. And yeah, you got cool mask piece too. Pretty they good. also come with extra ammunition for the stud shooters. So I'll just move those now. Anyway, let's get on to the build. So I'll start with the smallest, which is this little hut type thing on Pasana. So yeah, no spoilers, but um, this is just some generic thing. You got a little binocular right there, and you got some crates. This one has nothing in it, but I'm pretty sure it's used to store the extra rounds of ammo ammunition. Got this chainsaw, shovel, and this weird hook piece that I don't really have, so that's cool to have. So yeah, just some normal weapons and stuff, tools. Pretty just normal build. Got a stamp at the top, and yeah, not really much to say about this, it's pretty bland in my opinion. Next, we have the tread speeder, which has this cool tread at the front, which I love playing with. Two stud shooters, of course, to shoot. Pretty fun. People go there. I know he's not driving right now, but he has a gun in his hand, so I'm not really gonna do that. But yeah, it just opens up, and this has a really weird way of staying up. It stays up, like, on these pieces. So it doesn't touch the tread. But uh, yeah, it's got these guns that can move. Um, I don't really much to say. It's just a really cool new vehicle. Next, we have the actual Pasana Speeder, which is really big. But yeah, you got BB-8 and Ray on there. You got this gun at the top that turns. Little flag, a stud shooter. If I can press it. Pretty cool. Little rudder at the front that can move from left to right. Some wings, and more tubes, and this these are on the bottom so it can actually float. And it's got this piece at the back, 
BB-8 in there. But the cool thing about this is that the stuff inside of this can actually go inside of it. So small crate goes at the front, and then this one goes at the very back. And it all fits perfectly. So then you can have some extra supplies while you're flying around. And it does just go on the... Sorry about that. It does just slide, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, got like a jet engine on the side, lots of stickers. Not really that many actually, but pretty cool set. Nice minifigures included. And uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Let's get on to the instructions. Okay, so the instructions are just normal Lego instructions at the start. Tell you about normal stuff. Three bags, of course. So that's what you get in each one. Then you start building the set. And then at the end, the very end of the build, after the little hut. Let's see if far right there. Second. So yeah, you finish that. And bring it back here again. So once you get here, the build is finished, and then yeah, you can see you can put the stuff on there. And uh, yeah, then you got some advertisements for like building your own creations with Lego Life, and the advertisement for the other sets, which is weird because it just shows the minifigures, just go to just chill in there. And then you have the actual sets on the other page. So. Skywalker Saga game. Might get that, probably not. Not really into Lego Star Wars, but this was a cool set. There's all the pieces, and that's the end of the instructions. Overall, I would say this is a very good set, and yeah, I recommend it. If you like Star Wars and are like the new movie. So uh, yeah, not really much more to say. Hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye.